Good morning, everybody. It's another work day here with these crazy people. Another work day with the crazy people. Yeah, I walk out the door and it's just boom. Busy instantly. No time to breathe. So I need to show them some things to do because I've got to head up to the hardware store and um, actually that's a construction supply and order up a lot of materials that we need right now uh, by the end of this week. So I'm gonna stop right here and show these guys what we need to be doing. So we gotta make a, we're gonna eventually have a staircase right here, but we didn't build that yet. We gotta have a ramp for going back and forth up to the top. And we're gonna make one out of bamboo, like the old one that used to be here. So uh, we're gonna put it on top of the form all the way up or we're gonna put it on that bamboo there. I don't think there, if we put it, you're gonna to have to climb over. No, that's too short. I think you better, I think you better put it up to the top of that, to the top of that form, yeah. And then how far, how long? Cause if it's real steep, it's hard to climb. You think, put it on back here some, how long? Just to the end right there? Okay. Well, you guys get busy and, and make it then. You know what to do. Hey, don't don't dig over here. Listen, if you try to put a if you had to put a bamboo, there's there's tubes here. Don't dig here, okay? Yep, I have stuff for cameras and all that buried going out to the beach. Yeah, but if you had to put a, a rail, yeah, and you dig down, you're gonna hit my tubes here. So everybody know, do not dig over here. Don't dig a hole, there's tubes, okay? okay. Hey, you know what? I I got a suggestion. If we put it here, we're gonna have to tear it back down later, because this is where I'm building my staircase. It's, we'll be putting it there, and then we'll be removing it again. We're gonna have to put it somewhere else. If we build it here. It's going to be right in the way to build the staircase, and we need to build that staircase soon. I think so. It might be better. And it's more in the middle because we're not pouring much over there. We're pouring most over here. I think I think it's better over here. Yeah. And we don't have to worry about if you need to dig supports. It's all clear here. Yeah, put it put it right here. You can tie it off to the side of this one. Yeah. We'll start down right there. Okay. This is them um, right here. Yeah, they're not just the on the side of the road hardware store. It's good people right here. The routines changed, of course, because of COVID and social distancing. So you can't go inside anymore like you used to. They installed a little sink out here. Clean your hands. They got sanitizer. You got some seats and a little canopy that you can sit and wait your turn, spaced out. And they put up a plastic wall there where their door is at. Just adjustments they've had to make, but that's par with it around the world right now. They've got these large delivery trucks right here and right on down the highway here going back towards Oton closer they have a huge warehouse where they store a lot of the uh, the cement the Portland 
and some other materials there. So they are a construction supply for a builder. It's funny, uh, the Filipinos here don't know the Texas flag, right? And they see this star on this, which is actually the Texas flag. And I'm a white guy, so they're always saying, Captain America. <laughs> I just shake my head, yes, don't argue. <laughs> yeah, Captain America. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got my order placed here. She's getting me the total right now. I tell you, you couldn't ask for a nicer staff dance here at this place too they are uh, a really great little company to deal with man I tell you really encouraged check this company out if you're in this Iloilo area they they deliver all around not just out here locally out here they they fulfill orders all around the Iloilo area so uh, check them out and give them a chance FLS you saw all their information right there on this sign My little truck looking good over there. My old 92 Toyota Hilux said, that's my toy, you know, my project truck that I fix up. Uh, you can see it over my shoulder there. It, it gets more attention than these brand new trucks and toys on the road. I, I get so many people that will hang their hands out and wave and give me thumbs up on my truck and stop and talk to me about it and really looking at it and checking it out. It's always a conversation piece and uh, it, that's kind of cool but all of these that you can just go up here to a dealership and buy, the roads are flooded with them. Flooded with them and big money. When I bought that, of course vehicles are expensive here in the Philippines. They can be 30 to 50% higher than what they are in the U.S. And in the used market, they can be 100, 200% higher because even used cars sell really high here. When I bought that, I bought it down in Davao and I bought it from one of the councilmen of President Duterte. And uh, he had all kinds of toys and stuff there, jet skis, boats, and... He had lots of toys and all kinds of four-wheel drives and stuff. So I bought that from him and we brought it up here and I started modifying it, and fixing it up, but I gave 5,000 for it. And with all the modifications and stuff I've done and all, I'm, I'm working improvements, I don't know, I might be about 70, I don't know, 72, 7,500 in it or something now with everything I've done. But the thing is, is that if you take by how many years I've had it now and all the driving I got out of it, it comes down to hardly nothing per month that that vehicle equals to for me to drive at this point. It's paid for itself. And those new ones, the payments are ridiculous. Four, 500, 600, 700 a month on these new ones here paying it for years and the value steadily depreciating and this kind of philosophy is what's made me successful my whole life my truck is now becoming worth more money it's a classic it's a collector's item they're looking for them here and uh, their trucks are losing value they owe a lot of money big overhead on it and uh, you tell me which is the smarter so I just finished my order with them and when the girl was bringing my change back, just a few pesos, she had a whole bunch of stuff in her hand. Check this out. So they said they had been waiting for me to come here personally instead of um, my brothers and all and they had bought me this as a Christmas gift. Like, you see they bought it at SM Market. That is so cool. So I mean this is what I'm talking about having a relationship with people. Look at that. Bought me a fan and a bag full of t-shirts and stuff too. 
that is so cool and i'll give those out to the guys this is why i say build relationships have loyalty and great things come back in in return for you Same. Yeah, we're not. We only did this. We did that inset on these because it's so steep, uh, okay. and we had to get a lot of steps in a close area. But this one here, we're more relaxed on. Um, I I think you've done a great job, Mike. Mike, I really do. He was concerned. He wanted me to come talk to him about these steps. He was drawing them out, marking them, marking them here where his treads and his rise is going to be, and he put a couple scraps, but. Man, he's got it spot on. It, it starts at a good place and it ends perfect level up there. I, I think it's I think it's good. It's good, man. Just finish what you're doing. You did a great job. I like it. Can you still share? Make a design here? Like this in the panel? You can. You can. If you want to bend it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I put the still here. Yeah, tie it on to there. Mm. Yep. No problem. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh oh, you did, yeah. Yeah, just make the steel. Yes. Okay. Well, just do, just do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, like there, that scrap you got up there, you can just use scrap on that side. And then we pull that scrap out. Well, the solid beam will get poured against that. So Marvin's back doing what he did before. Making more of these spacers right here, these stands. Some people call them chairs, as they commented on, uh, on the comment section of YouTube. And... Yeah, they do call them chairs in a lot of places, absolutely. And some people just nickname them pucks. So uh, <laughs> I think it's a little bit more fun calling them a puck, you know, like a hockey puck. Nevertheless, uh, that is what he's doing. It's making more of those because we're going to need a lot of them. And meanwhile, they're going around and just adding additional supports with some small scrap bamboo and all laying out there. Um, to hold the weight of that concrete up above. June and Uncle Malone, they've started building up the ramp to go up the back here for working the concrete from the back side. 